start from the place of comfort, start from what you know, right? And I think if you are a board member, you understand the language of risk and look at your risk register, really think about what are the imminent risks to the business today, two years from now, 10 years from now, whatever the horizon is, because there is, I will argue that it's absolutely impossible to find a risk register that does not touch on ESG. There is no way that you could look at people, that you could look at resources, even the way that you, um, you know, look at policies, products that you will put out, services that you would product that, that you would put out. There's no way that ESG isn't there. Um, Ten years ago, perhaps it was difficult to link it, but today it is impossible. So that makes it approachable. One, two. I think really is to get educated is where you would start, right? So here is, is a good place to start. And I know that education is different for people. Some people want to be in groups. Some people want to discuss. I don't, I mean, we wrote a piece together with the Hong Kong Stock Exchange on this. And we actually said, don't just jump to a consultant. Even if we are selling that service, it's very difficult to just go and hire and then outsource, right? Really have that reflection, I would say, and maybe take stock amongst the board. Like, I'd love to see a board meeting that wasn't 200 pages in two and a half hours where the AOB has the review of the sustainability report or other things, because maybe we flip it, you know, you've read those 200 pages of the reports, no one really has, we're not debating the financial performance of the company in three months, it's already happened, what you should be having is really a pause, a different kind of board conversation as to what do we fear, what do we not know, how do we find the resources for it, and again, I'm going to bring this back to where we started. Why are we doing this? You know, so if suddenly you have that moment, that eureka moment of we really should get started. All right, let's get educated. Fine. You shop for all sorts of certificate programs, right? But what will it do for you? And this is one of the first questions we ask a client, whatever they ask us to do. What does it do for you other than you have a report that you submit or you have a framework that you show for? There must be something that it brings you and there must be something missing if it doesn't, if you don't do it, especially if you don't do it now, right? You, you have talent walking away or you can't compete or you can't open in a new market. There must be something there. And I think discover that. And once you have that, then you will be better placed to navigate the noise because you and I know that when you get into the sustainability channel and if it were a, a TV show or you know if it were a subscription to a TV network there's a lot of noise there so I feel like listening and internalizing why you're doing it what you're looking for before you go shopping on the high street or before you go flicking through channels also allows you to um, have those guardrails 